Hello and welcome to the Intensive Care Unit at University Hospitals Bristol. I'm Dr Matt Thomas, one of the doctors on the unit. This film is aimed at patients and their relatives who have been told that they will be admitted to the Intensive Care Unit or High Dependency Unit after having an operation within our trust. We also think it will be of benefit to patients and their families who have recently been admitted to the unit. The Intensive Care Unit is Ward A600, which is on the sixth floor of the Bristol Royal Infirmary. It's a specialised area of the hospital that cares for patients who either require very close monitoring and support after a significant operation or who are admitted as emergencies with conditions which are life-threatening. The intensive care unit has higher staffing levels than normal wards, with one nurse to every one or two patients and doctors present on the unit at all times. We also have an extended specialist team, including pharmacists, physiotherapists and dietitians. After your operation is finished, you will either be woken up from your anaesthetic whilst in the recovery area in theatres, or, alternatively, you may be taken to the ICU while still asleep and then awoken at a later time. This is a bed space here on the ICU. When you arrive, one of the nursing staff will be present here to look after you all the time, day and night, asleep or awake. They are never far away and are happy to answer any questions or discuss any worries you may have. All bed spaces have a call bell, and in the unlikely event you cannot see one of the nursing team, then please do not hesitate to press the call bell and request help. No concern is either too little or too large. The ICU does all the things you would expect of a normal ward, as well as carrying out specialised patient monitoring treatments. As you can see, there are often lots of machines and monitors with all their associated beeps and alarms. It can seem a lot to take in, and your nurse can explain more about the environment if you wish. All patients have basic monitoring, such as a heart monitor, a probe on your finger and measuring your oxygen levels, and a blood pressure cuff like this. You may also have some drips and lines, such as a catheter to drain urine away, and a nasogastric tube to allow drainage of the stomach contents, or to allow us to give you medicine straight into your stomach. There is a daily ward round to see all the patients on the unit. The intensive care team is led by the consultant and will review your progress with you, keeping you informed. In addition, you should also be seen by your admitting team. For example, the surgical team who performed your surgery. Depending on your progress, you may also be seen by a physiotherapist. Keeping as mobile as possible after your surgery is extremely important for your recovery. Even deep breathing exercises whilst in bed can make a huge difference. The nursing team are very active and work hard to ensure you are comfortable and that you recover your independence and are mobile as soon as possible. The intensive care unit has set visiting times and also guidelines about the number and age of visitors. If your relatives or friends are at the bedside when care needs to be given to you, they may be asked to leave for a while. There's a large waiting area with drinks facilities, a microwave and a visitor's toilet at the doors of the unit. There are also phones at the nurses' computers at each bed space, which you can receive direct incoming calls so your relatives can ring and see how you're getting on. When the team looking after you plans to admit you to the ICU, for example after a big operation, in the majority of cases it is not because you're really unwell, but because we know that patients benefit from closer supervision and care immediately after major surgery. Most patients who are admitted to the ICU in this planned way only need this care for 24 to 48 hours and can then be moved to a normal ward elsewhere in the hospital. Your individual progress will be closely monitored by the ICU team and a decision made with you about when this move is suitable. We hope this video has been useful and has answered some of the questions you may have had about your upcoming surgery. We also hope it might have allayed some of the worry that goes along with major operations.